Hey guys, how's it going and welcome back. So lesson number four, just as a short little recap, one, two, and three in order. Okay, that was part of lesson one, two. all right so this can get literally and honestly it can be boring playing these three patterns until you have them like right spot great okay i'm gonna avoid if possible the words perfect and mastered because they don't exist okay and you never ever stop learning guitar so how can you master an instrument that is not masterable no instrument is okay so get the reality check now you are not going to conquer this thing but the only thing you're going to conquer is going from being a beginner who knows nothing and starts out very crummy to somebody who if you put in the time uh, each day and you practice what's being taught and you work on it etc you can become a fantastic great awesome outstanding guitar player so that's all up to you okay i'm just here to say this is what we're doing this is what we we want to get you to do and it's up to you from there okay so that's how it works in the real world and uh yeah this is kind of the real world even though this video will probably be here well after 100 years from now anyways if youtube still exists anyway so what we want to do is get you to think outside the box now up until now it's been all down and guess what we're staying with down today okay so if you remember some of these things like okay what you're you're looking at here is how can i expand this how can i make the boring go away well that's what we're here for right you've used these positions right so bom, 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 right so so cut out some of that and just on stuff like that or the next little bit and just play around with all those different finger positions within that now one of the things I normally don't teach right away uh, is a hand dampening technique but I really think that it could be beneficial for you in this case because down the road it would end up coming up anyhow and so I want you to try and get as close up as you can on this um, so with your hand at the side, when you pick down, you lift, you lift up a little bit, okay? So you can dampen it by just popping down. So it's just a rotating movement like this. So you don't necessarily lift all the way up to make it ring out but you can okay so then you can kind of like Another thing this blue stuff teaches you is finger and hand strength along with curvature okay if you're executing properly this is why when I originally started telling you guys to it's okay to mute the strings 
with your, your first finger here. If you slip when you're strumming down, at least it's muted, <laughs> okay? And it's going to keep its tone properly. Now, another thing you can do with this too before we go. Okay, so work on things like that. Be experimental with it. I'm not saying you have to follow exactly what I just did. Uh, otherwise, I would be showing you absolute step by step. And that's not what this one's about. This is about thinking outside the box and getting something more fun going. Now, do not stop practicing all this boring stuff because you're still gonna need it and you still gotta work your fingers, you gotta learn how to slow down, you can't always play fast, right? But when you're even experimenting with this, you're already at a slower rate, so. Okay, so build up your speed, right? To do the faster, more fancier stuff and quicken your movements. Okay, that's kinda of where you're at with that. Anyways, well, let me know in the comments below how you're doing with these lessons too, by the way, if you're enjoying them, um, etc. Um, I am not doing anything in a specific order per se, because like I said, we got one, two, and three. Now those are in order of exactly how I was taught. So those you should actually be following, but you don't have to. Depends on which video you came across first, but there is a playlist um, so if you check my playlist under guitar lessons, you're going to find all the guitar lessons that I'm going to be putting up on YouTube. They'll all be there. So you can pick and choose the order you want, but I do encourage you to kind of start right at the beginning, okay, uh, from lesson one and just keep going two, three, four, five, six, and so on until someday we may reach the end. Never, but you know what I mean, right? Anyways, enjoy, have fun. Thank you so much for watching and uh, we'll catch you in the next one. See ya.